The Fjell Raven Classic UK is a 65km trail through the remote and magnificent Cairngorm National Park in Scotland. I was kindly sent on this trip by my friends at Nordic Outdoors, who welcomed me into their Keswick shop to pick out a couple of Fjell Raven items for the adventure ahead. Join me as I take on the UK's first ever classic, with over 200 like-minded people from all over the world. I'll show you these guys, look. There's Becky from Hi, Becky Becky you. Goes Wild. Becky uh, Jake, there's Jake from Jake Goes Outside sometimes. The Fjell Raven Classic, uh, thanks to Nordic Outdoors. Uh, this is one of three. We've got the one in Keswick, we've got one up in Edinburgh, and then London. I'm going to go in here, get some Fjell Raven clobber to take with us on the Fjell Raven Classic. Let's have a look. For uh, sending me on this wonderful hike. The scenery is beautiful, it's so nice to be back in Scotland again. You get to the lodge where you set off, they had uh, bagpipes playing, you get you get your real termat foods like breakfast and dinner, you get a gas canister which I sacked that off because it's too big. You get a little bag to put litter in, it's really thought out, you get a map, you get a little booklet to stamp at the checkpoints which we're going to come across. Another good thing about being at the front of the pack is you get first dibs on antlers. If we see any antlers and declers, yoink, get on, get on my back. I'll be keeping my eye out for him. Whew, big boy. Look at this hard out slope. Look at this, it's like Lord of the Rings, but for absolute <laughs> numpties. <laughs> so this is what I feel like, I just feel like a naughty boy who's got had to put an orange bib on and go hiking with his other delinquent friends. We've been caught graffitiing <laughs> on the sheriff's van, and now look at us. Idiots. Look at these idiots slowing us down, look. Tweedledum and Tweedledee, yeah! We're back in Scotland, baby! And you can tell, look, there's someone gassing out. I was about to lap, I think I'm lapping this girl, I'm... How you doing, you alright? Oh, are you going in for a swim? Why? Wow, it's a river crossing. Oh, is it a river crossing? Alright, oh, we're going in. It's not our first rodeo. If I drop camera, it's done in, aren't we? <laughs> there we are! Woo! Oh, it's nice and fresh. There he is, look at left. This is Jake Crossy, sponsored by Aldi. Fall, 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 fall. Fall, but don't hurt yourself. Fall, but don't hurt yourself. And don't get all your stuff wet, but just fall because it's bants. I reckon by the time you've seen this, you're probably a mum and dad. So. I'd just like to say congratulations, and yes, Hazy is a good name for a boy or a girl. Thanks, bye! Uh, how does it feel to be leading the Fjell Raven Classic, the first one in the UK? I'd like to thank my mum. Wow, it's an emotional time. Uh, Love and nature. Just cut to Mother Jake leading us into a bog or something like that. We're all lost, scratching our heads. Look at that, whiskey advert. You can't see, but just where my finger is. That's our second, um, what do you call it, like a uh, stop station. And apparently it's not far after this that people stop at night, but quick time check. And it's ten past one, so, so we're going to bat on, I think, because the only path I can see is that that goes through that, that valley there between them two peaks. In fact, I can remember on map seeing that, but for now, is to that hut. You gotta keep your wits about you on this sort of gear because you might just stack it and then out here you're medics aren't you? There's no way you just have to get mount <laughs> you just get airlifted out. Big medic. We're leading the way and so the pressure is if you go the wrong way odd monkey knuckles gonna follow you and then so on and so forth and you could be responsible. <laughs> For getting everyone veered off the off right path. That's the sort of terrain we're dealing with. It's just very rocky, 
and it's wet but I've just shanned it off I'm just going for wet feet now classic Scottish hiking I love it Oi, oi. <laughs> this is one of my top five bridges in uh, Scotland. Come and have a look. I like to call this bit the middle of the bridge, which is uh, where I do a lot of me, this sort of stuff. I do a lot of me workout. I do a lot of dicks. This bash full of bricks as well, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Seven. Have you got your pass or do you know your number as well? The number is 69. How can I remember that? How can I get that? I've got a present in my bag for you. Here we go. That wasn't. I didn't set this up. He just said he's got a present for me. So I'm not just. Better be something that I can use in the bedroom. It depends. Where has my present gone? Do you have a choice, my man? Oh yes. Nordic elk jerky. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like elk's gonna do me the most good. Is it? <laughs> I'd go the reindeer myself. Would you? Where's yeah, reindeer? Yeah, I didn't see that. Oh my god, I was just speaking about reindeers earlier actually. <laughs> Cheers mate. <laughs> my mate's just giving me some reindeer jerky, so stick that in your Christmas pipe and smoke it. <laughs> that looks funny, that like. Oh, there's the checkpoint, I can see it. Yeah, Bilbury's from where I'm from in Yorkshire. Yeah. But yeah, Bilbury's. Nice little bit of natural sugars. Keep the wolves from the door. Look, this is good, isn't it? It's quite adventurous, isn't it? I'm scared. What checkpoint number is this, please? Three. three. Checkpoint three. Checkpoint three. And you're the first group to arrive. Also, with the you've heard it there from an official, so first group to arrive. <laughs> and then the ones in the middle he calls the splatter. So I don't want to be part of the splatter. Who's this lone warrior? 69, I believe. <laughs> My favourite. Just come through here. These are the medics. Is it right? Your medic? Yeah, medics. The medics, medics. And there's another one over there. Actual medics. The real hero. The real MVPs. Ken. Okay. Had to put windbreaker on because it's got a bit chilly. We're coming through this valley. Huge high peaks either side, but you can see the sun hitting that side, so that side stopping it. It's made it slightly chilly, so windbreakers have to go on. But we're now in the zone where the no camping zone, which is I think it's about 15k we've got until we get to a place where we can camp. So we're committed to this now, so it might be a late one, which I'm happy with. That's what I've been doing of late anyway, so. We'll keep batting on and then find somewhere to camp around 8 o'clock as it's getting dark, hopefully get a sunset. Was that survival, Jake? Go follow Jake on Jake's journey, mate. <laughs> no, but do go follow him, though. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hey, he's getting there. Sorry for sure. Becky doing some survival. We're all surviving. Jake survived. Becky survived. Tom's over there surviving. I'm surviving. We're doing well. Um, we got number 69 breathing down our neck, which is giving us motivation. I've employed, I think everyone has, the old stabilisation sticks. The views are spectacular. And then we're dropping down there into them, into that wood. Forest, whatever you want to call it. And we've got about 12k to go until we're out of the no camping zone and the medic guy, medic, was uh, telling us to get up top so that it's a bit more breezy otherwise the midges will come in force and get us which <laughs> I think might be quite funny but you don't really want it do you? It's one of the things you think it'll be funny if there's a few here to get attacked by midges but in reality it won't be that funny or will it? Lord of Rings shit. <clears throat> Look at that. Beauty. Look at this. Sun's going down. 
squad. There's squad girls, look. Cod in curry sauce. Oh. We stopped for um, a meal at the last checkpoint and we took our socks and shoes off and then we were like, we shouldn't have done that. Because now it's getting dark and you know, you've eaten, you're like, oh. So we've got another 6k to do by the side of this lock and out until we get out of the no camping zone. Midges and mozzies are out in force. Shinning me up bare legs, don't have any smidge are out. So we're gonna do this 6k and then just find the nearest place that'll accommodate us, all of us, four tents, and we'll pitch up. Right, we're in, I'm in. Look at the Lanshan. It is as baggy as you like. And if the wind picks up at all, then this whole this whole kit and caboodle is going down. <laughs> it gets so bouncy, this ever so deep that you just can't get any purchase with your pegs. Even Delta pegs are struggling, so I don't know how it's just up. It's just up with just pure willpower. It's been a long day. Do 42k today. See you on the morrow. Right, I've woken up, and this is state. Of, this is the state of affairs. Look how taut she is. She's taut. She's ready for a photo shoot. Look at that. Look how she's caved in at that side. Went wind. Even delta pegs have been rived out at ground. Looks like an absolute homeless man's squat, look. Summit you'd find pitched under a bridge. There's Jake Outdoors, whatever he's called. What are you called, mate? Jake Outdoors. Jake's journey, mate, is there, look. It doesn't look too bad, that. It looks quite professionally done. There's Becky's journey, mate, up there, looking quite good. Tom's disappeared. He's gone, let's try and get some water or something. And there's me in the least professional looking outfit I've probably ever done. But we slept okay, didn't we, Jake? Um, yeah, relatively, man. That, just say no. No. <laughs> it was a bit, it was a bit rough, like, it was a bit bumpy and I kept sliding out tent. I feel good, I feel good today. Weather's turned on us a little bit. Right, there's me. Flat as a witch's tit. Oh look, look at that, that's what I was dealing with. Sliding down here, and what's that you say? Just a massive stone, look, that's what I was lying on as well. Mad flex, but any port in a storm. What tent have you got, Jake's journey, mate? Uh, it's the Berghaus three point slept like cat. He's got the uh, Berghaus three point sleeping on lumps. <laughs> It's the P3.3.1 for all you tent wizards out there. Bex, girl outdoors, what have, what tent have you got, BTW? What tent have I got? Yeah. The uh, Far Raven Abisco one. Oh, she's got the Fell Raven Abisco in blue, no less. Bright blue, there's no missing Bex. And I was just in some sort of mad bin bag flapping in wind. There we go. Looks nice, got a little bit of cloud inversion there. And we're going to bat on because it's an early early start. Tom, our mate, has batted on already without us. He's off to go get some water and that. I don't know if we'll ever see you again, Tom. <laughs> Who knows? Now to report, mate. That was it. Not best night's sleep ever, but we'll crack on, eh? What are you going for? What? No, what? Fruit River? <laughs> I don't think we need to look. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are so welcome. <laughs> Best station ever. They've got whiskey, they've got tea cakes. That's, I mean, that's all they need, really. But Morning whiskey, what time is it, do you think? Whiskey? What time is it in the morning now? Oh, it's 8.30. It's 8.30 in the morning, we're having whiskey, but we're in Scotland, so... When in Rome. Yeah, Cheers, go. dude. Ram. Nice. Enjoy. Oh, it smells delicious. Yeah. Founders old. Reserve. What does this Sandra? Skull. What we on? Or do you want an iron brew? Ah, here we go. Have an iron brew. An iron brew. Would you like to have an iron brew too? Oh my God, an iron brew. This is getting so whiskey. Yeah, can you play the bagpipes when you give it to me, please? <laughs> Maybe. We can try to put it. Uh uh. Is that race? Is that bad? Is that bad? Can't do me for it though, because I'm part Scottish. Which part? This part that I'm drinking. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You made it, mate. Well done. What time did you leave? An hour ago. In the rain. Oh my god, look at this. It's full fat as well. No messing about. This is my best. This is the best day ever. <laughs> this is the best checkpoint ever. Right? It really is, honestly. Like, there's no. Co it, and it's not even close. 
It's not even close. Look at the camping spots. I've got whiskey, iron there's brew. There's a wonderful river there. And there's a river. Is it swimmable? And dunkable, yeah. Dunkable, right. It's very cool. Barely dunkable. Let's get <laughs> it. Need, Let's send it. We need all to We're a warm off. It's pretty good. <laughs> Whiskey, tunnocks, tea cakes, iron blue, yes please. Here's Tom, look, he got up early this morning and blazed a trail towards his, yeah, that's drinking. what he wanted. Did you get drinks of water as well? Yeah, we drink, and an iron brew. Do you have a whiskey or not? Yeah. He had a whiskey as well. You'd, should we have two? Should we get on it a bit? Are we allowed? Well, people would turn it, definitely people would turn it down. Trail the bottle. I'll have Becky's. You I'll have your own uh, whiskey. Oh, will you? Yeah. Oh, will you now, Phil, actually? Because I'm going to pour it into the floor. You can't have it. <laughs> also, look. If the perfect camp spot couldn't get any better, we've got a dog as well. I'm staying here. Staying here forever. <laughs> Windy, rainy. Clearing up, coming this way. Can you just get a close-up of your knee, please? Just because... Which one is it? Medic. <laughs> Which one is it? That this one. one. Little man. Look at little <laughs> knee on it. And also it's damp as well. He's trying to put it in water. Is that hurt? Uh, no, it's all right there. It's more, it's more here. Sort of around, around this bit. There he is. Ice pack. Jake's journey, For mate. Free. There's not much happening to... Um, Jake's just eating a, a tea cake in one. A Tunnock's tea cake in one. That's been the highlight of my day. 15k to go until we're back to our first checkpoint. And then... And then that's it, it's pretty much freewheeling all the way to the end where no one's going to be waiting for us or anything because we've done it disrespectfully quick. See that boffy there? That's another checkpoint. <laughs> These two Muppets bringing up the rear. The Soto Windmaster, probably the best one here. What you got? Need jet boil. Tom's got a jet boil. They're good actually, aren't they? They're pretty good. They're fast, aren't they? I've never had one. You rate it? Yeah, although the outside, rate it, it, mate? it gets burnt, melts the outside. It melts the outside of itself. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's too hot for its own good. It's windy. It just like melts its little jacket. Right. What are you offering, mate? Why are you dressed like a honey roasted cashew nut? <laughs> uh, by the of way. Course. <laughs> course, mate. The kindness of campers. I mean, that will do. That's loads. Thanks. Oh, Look at that, Thomas. man. Please fall. Please fall. Please fall. Please fall. Yeah, no, go, yeah, yeah, I don't want to give you any advice, because I want you to, sort of want you to stack it a bit, for morale, for my morale. <laughs> oh, that's a big jump, that, Bex, <laughs> No, go back round, yeah, that's it. Come on, little, little by little. Wow. He's made it though, look. Right, oh, there you go, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Well done, everyone. Nobody Smashed died. it, final river crossing. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Right, Do a little pan, get the kids in, look. There we go. <laughs> Big T. And then there's where we're going. Over yonder, I imagine, isn't it? through this valley. Just follow this down now. And then it can't be too much further than out of the end of there. 14k to the end. 14k to the very end. Yeah. That there, look. It's like a bothy on its own little bit of grass. Look at that. Medic! Gotta film you just in case you fall. Oh, look at that, mate. Four K left. Becky and Jake are back there. Jake's knee started to play up, so he strapped it up. Um, and it was just when he was coming downhill, it was hurting him and that. So we walked on, but took it slowly to sort of wait. And then we then we waited, and they still didn't come over the hill. So I just assumed they were having a rest or just taking it at their own pace. So we just decided just to keep walking, not too fast, but just keep walking. So if you're watching this, Jacob Becky, sorry for leaving you. If I didn't leave you, it's just you're too slow, to be honest with you. And also, we found a dead dragonfly, and I was like, 
Um, I wanted to do a medic with a dead dragonfly and things like that. I might nip into the village and get some supplies so that at least I'm not empty handed for Jake and Becky's triumphant crossing of the line. I'll be there applauding, saluting, if anything, the heroic efforts. Dude, there's so many shrooms about. Whew, today has been a lot, mate. I've not done, I've not done a lot of filming because, again, I, I struggle when it, when there's people about. It's hard to just talk to the camera and that, and especially with Tom, who's just um, not. It's not, you know, it's not fair on him just for me to just be like, oh, wait for me while I just talk to this camera. I feel like I've been hiking a lot recently. Been putting a lot of miles in on the old hiking and. Um, Yesterday, I think we did like 42k yesterday, and today is like, whatever it is, 30, is it? No, 25, I don't know, I don't even know anymore. But two big days anyway. Right, you'll see here, and I've seen all along this path, and all the paths around here, you get these shrooms sprouting up next to the path a lot, and that's because uh, the mycelium network um, is all under here, and then they'll build a path, so it'll come along here, They'll hit the paths that go down, all the hardcore and compression, and uh, and then they'll stop and they'll sort of fruit up at the side of paths. So a good place to look for mushrooms is on paths in woodlands at the side of them. Just coming in to where we started and it's a bit of a ghost town, everyone's still out on trail. <laughs> maybe did this a bit dis like maybe a bit fast and get one last stamping book and that's it, your job's done cheers mate, see we do, we got a clap look, we got a clap off this one lad that's from the local brewery just down the road oh, is it? what percent is it? 80 five. shilling, it's 5% right, okay. that'll do the damage oh well, I'm hoping for cumulative damage it's like when you catch a big fish on <laughs> on pier innit <laughs> little shibby <sighs> it's quite heavy that actually innit What's that? That's it. Just shy of 10. Just shy of 10 kg. Huh? 13 and a half when I started. Man's just shy of 10. But I've got two li I've got lots of water in still. There you go. Thanks very much. You're welcome. There we go. What's your favourite part? This bit, the beer that I'm about to drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't know each other. We walked it all together though. So. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, a good place to meet. It's a good romantic story though, isn't it? <laughs> Haggis Neeps and Tatties from the food truck. Oh, is that what it is? Haggis yeah. Neeps and Tatties? Oh, how can I not turn up to this? it the first ever UK classic it was an absolute honor to be a part of it I'd like to thank Fjell Raven for putting on such an amazing event I'd like to thank all the volunteers at the checkpoints and who sorted out the party for afterwards you were heroes I'd like to thank the band you were also heroes and I'd like to thank Becky and Jake and Tom for hiking with me and being the best hiking buddies a man could wish for and I'd especially like to thank Nordic Outdoors for setting this up for me and sending me on such an amazing journey. You can check out links to their website below. And if you're in Scotland, the Lake District or London, you can check out their stores. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.